It's crazy that we're up 10% in pre-market right now and I am not even flinching because I'm not even looking for 10% anymore. If you've been following the channel, you know I'm looking at the daily and the weekly time frame, and I made a video for everyone over the weekend of really what I think could happen potentially this week if we get the news that we are all expecting. I gave you price targets on where I think Mullen can actually go. If you haven't seen that video, it's right here for you. Feel free to go watch that video after you watch this one. Before I get started on today's video, because we are up 10% in pre-market, which is very exciting, don't forget to drop a like. Uh, think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. None of this is financial advice, of course. You have to do your own research at the end of the day. And don't forget to grab your coffee this early morning. It's 4.18 in the morning. I'm fired up to be here. Grateful to be here. Another day with you all. Here's mine. Why are we up in pre-market right now? Well, I think everyone is expecting big, big news today because Lawrence has been talking with some people and has been stating certain things are gonna be happening. It's really exciting times right now. But my other question is, are we about to get news in about 40 minutes? So when you see this video, it'll probably be almost 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time because I've looked back and Mullen likes to announce news at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 a.m. Eastern time. So what would be amazing is if we actually get news at five o'clock and then we get more news later today at 2 p.m. Eastern time, because that's when Lawrence is coming out. He said at 2 p.m. Eastern time, he's gonna make his announcement. Another question of mine, is it gonna be his announcement on Facebook or what is it gonna be? I'm hoping it's actual news from MAEO because that would be very good. Lawrence definitely helps his Facebook lives help, but we need MAEO to announce this news or even Mullen to announce this news that we're all looking for. So right now in pre-market, we're trading at 89 cents. I'm gonna show you the charts in a minute, but what an exciting day, right? This is something that we have all been waiting for. If you've been part of the journey, we have been through so much with Mullen stock and I think things will start to turn around regardless of the Lawrence deal and everything that's going on with Saudi. I know that's the thing we need right now to get this stock back up to where it should be priced at. I mean, it shouldn't be under a dollar. But what I'm excited for after this is the start of production. I think this is gonna be a great summer for Mullen. I think there's a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot of rumors out there and I'm excited for this all to come into fruition and everyone to be confident in their investments with this company. One of the most important things that you all have to be watching, and I'm gonna share this with you, but I will tell you this, there's two days left for the Patreon to be $7, so get in today. Remember, it's gonna go up to 10 bucks starting in June. We got a private Discord. Over 133 members now, bunch of people canceled. Still over 130 members, a lot of room for good people to get into our Discord, into our chat, and I share a lot of different things with the technicals on there that hopefully can help you the rest of this year. But one thing you wanna look at today is the RSI. You can see we are very, very oversold and we have a lot of room that we can go up until we get into overbought levels. This is one indicator that I use that kind of shows us when we should be selling certain stocks. You can see once we've reached this red line before, uh, those are the times that Mullen was very overbought. Um, and to be safe, it can go much higher than these red lines, but conservatively, you wanna start selling in these areas, in my opinion, of course, not being financial advice whatsoever. We also have the stochastic that has curled up, and that is telling us the momentum is up right now. And obviously, we're almost to 90 cents in pre-market, so very exciting morning. We'll see what happens today. The other thing that you wanna look at are these lines right here. This is the 50, 100, and 200 SMA. So we can test these areas. This is where we have gone before. So I wouldn't be surprised if we go to these areas, potentially even today, if the news is what we are expecting, we could easily do a 100% run today, in my opinion. We could do a lot higher. I do believe. So we will see what happens. I appreciate you all for staying. Hopefully this video was helpful. Drop a like if you got something out of it and let's have a great day.